How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, my client is flying in from Indiana to get his neck covered up. This cover up is definitely gonna be a little bit challenging, but it's all about how you treat the skin and how you navigate throughout this piece. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. Yeah, me, me get it. Como dice Kenny, como dice, como dice. Tu eres mi mamita rica y apretadita, mamita, mamita rica y apretadita. Tu eres mi mamita rica y apretadita, mamita, mamita rica y apretadita. Damn. Loca, loca. Ay, nuestro amor se acabó. Alright, we're ready. Let's do it. It's time. You ready? Yeah, where you want me? <laughs> right here. Have a seat right here, my guy. Damn, how tall are you, bro? My friend. 5'11"? I feel like you're like 6'2 or something. <laughs> my shoulder's getting tired. <laughs> All right, let's see, what do we got? What do we got here? So 10 years old, I can feel a few lines here. The actual cross is, is scarred. I can feel the lines here. I mean, he dug in it too hard. Yeah. I mean, understandable. I mean, it looks like they were using that coil, the one machine that goes Ehh. Oh yeah, sound like some old clippers. Yeah, no wonder it was hurting you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the project that we're gonna be doing today is this cross here. We're gonna be covering it up. Um, the design is gonna start from here and it's gonna end all the way up here to make sure we cover up everything that he has going on on the back of his neck and a little bit here on the top of the, the, the back area. How do you call this part of the back, you know? <laughs> hey, Kenny, what do you call this part of the back? This, this little bone right here. Not the, uh, I don't know, the spine, spinal? <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody know the name for the top of the bone on top of the back? I mean the oh nobody's paying attention. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello. Quick question. Hi. <laughs> Does anybody know what's the name of the bone on top of <laughs> of the back here, this area on the top here. Does anybody know the name of it? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. The point is that we're doing this cover up here on the back. <laughs> the concept that we're gonna be using is uh, an owling wolf. That's how you pronounce it, right? An owling wolf, owling. Howling. How, howling? Yeah, howling, yeah. Oh, wow. How do you spell it? H-O? Yeah, H-O-W-L. What? <laughs> I'm shook. What? Hold on. I've been spelling that O-W-L. Oh, you spell owling. Owling. Like, uh, love. That's, that's for owls? Is that for owls? <laughs> <laughs> that's for owls? Yeah. Um, we, here is the concept that, that we're going to be using today. The rocks, I want them to land here so I can fade it out. As far as the wolf, I want it to land, um, I want the, the, this area to land here. I asked you guys twice, my guys. I was like, hey, does anybody, and I was screaming that shit, so I was like, hey, does anybody know? And I was like, all right, all right. And then Kenny comes through, and then he's like, ask him again. I'm like, all right, does anybody know? <laughs> Nothing. This is a really good stencil, to be honest. Yeah, Right? Damn, I can't even. You know it's a good one, dude. You can't pick it off the skin. There you go. Satisfying. Oh. Damn. Let's see. Perfect. I really like where he landed. 
what I'm gonna do is add a few more uh, mountains to it. That way it continues the pattern of this mountain here to over here. And I'm gonna use the cross here to actually add that other mountain here. That way we take advantage of these shapes that are already there and make sure that we cover it up super easy. I'm gonna use this line here to create another uh, dimension of this mountain here. There you go, that's gonna help a lot too. Adding a moon on this corner here because it's giving me a chance, there's a lot of skin break here, so it's gonna allow me to add little textures and make it look like the moon. And it's all about contrast, so behind that, I'm gonna make sure that I add heavy black to make sure that that moon stands out but make sure to not add too much of it. So it's all about balancing everything out. And then as far as the background here, I'm gonna make it into a night scene. It's gonna be uh, a lot of stars. There's gonna be, you know, uh, a lot of grays to make sure that there is not just one single tone across the whole entire thing. We gotta separate it, make it, give it, give the eye more to look at. First thing that I'm gonna be doing uh, with this tattoo, I'm gonna start here at the bottom on this rock, giving it texture and then making sure that I end that super nicely, a nice fade out to where it looks like it, it belongs there. Because what you don't want is a piece that's gonna look square on the back. You wanna make sure that it fades out evenly. One thing I do want to explain with this uh, area here on this, uh, this area of the wolf is that we have to keep in mind when uh, doing these textures, we have to let the tattoo breathe as much as we can. We have to let it breathe because if I don't let it breathe, it's going to look like one single tone across the whole entire back piece. And uh, so we got to keep in mind on how to approach it. Number one thing that I'm going to be doing here is with the fur, I'm gonna do little tiny little hairs with a three round liner with a voltage of a 5.0 and separate them as much as I can, but still following the dimension of the wolf. So that's very important. So don't pack in tiny little hairs next to each other, separate it. And later on, right in between those, the, that fur, you're gonna add your light tones. When adding your light tones, you're gonna go right in between the little hairs that you already apply with your solid black and then contrast it with your light grays. And that way you're gonna let it breathe and it's gonna stand out and it's gonna look bright.
So now that we're here, um, what I'm gonna do next is work on the background. As far as working on the background, uh, the reason why I'm gonna start with the background is because I wanna make sure that this part of the wolf here stands out and is super bright, because that's what's gonna help the eye register where the wolf is and make sure that we can see it from afar. The tones that I'm gonna be using is solid black all around here. That way is the, the it, it makes it stand out even better. And I'm gonna slowly start fading it out this way and I'm gonna add some clouds here, some stars. I'm most likely gonna leave the face at the end. And the reason why is because I wanna make sure that the face is the brightest out of the whole body and the whole entire tattoo. So once I reach the point of the head here, I'm gonna have so much contrast all over the, the neck area and that's gonna let me know how dark I should make the face. I hope this music is relaxing you. <laughs> At this point... <laughs> so, some Tony Bennett <laughs> making you feel at ease. <laughs> In San Francisco. I might just be making it worse. <laughs> <laughs> it's either helping or making it worse right now. Oh man. This is what they didn't tell you about getting your neck tatted. I gotta get all up on your space. Yeah, that's cool, bro. What was the most painful part so far? Uh, I think that part. This right here? Damn. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'll ask you again later. Yeah, this area here is uh, sensitive. Very, it feels very thin, you know, the skin. Man, I feel so short right now, bro. I feel so sure, my guy. Like, I'm on my tippy toes, bro. Like, what? <laughs> Why am I on my tippy toes? What is this? <laughs> but uh, I wish I had a camera, like, on the floor so it can show how I'm just, you know. Perfect angle, huh? <laughs> So as I'm tattooing the neck area here, um, I realized that the skin here on the top is a bit more sensitive. And... I definitely believe that if I was running my machine at a higher voltage with my hand speed, I would have, I, I would probably make the skin uh, irritated and um, probably not allow me to move as fast and have the skin kind of swell up on me. But because I am running it at a low voltage, uh, I'm, I'm using my 14 round liner right now, and my voltage is at 5.0 same voltage as I do every single tattoo, um, it's helping me navigate through it nicely. I guess the only thing that uh, I gotta say, I have to find ways to get comfortable uh, and make sure that I, that I pack it in nicely. But I'm just moving everywhere. I'm just until I get comfortable. <laughs> but I gotta say that it, it can get a little uncomfortable, especially me putting my hand on his head. You know, it's not something that you do on a daily basis. <laughs> You're not, <laughs> gotta do what I gotta do. But you know, I, th I think it's something, it's, it's so weird, you know, just I don't know where I am and let me get comfortable. I'm gonna put my hand on your head, push down. <laughs> <laughs>